guys, Fall of Meerkats here, and today I'll be reacting to Ruby, Volume 6, Chapter 11, The Lady in the Shoe. And before everything, I want to vent. I've been waiting for this chapter ever since Sunday, because I watched the uh, other chapter on Sunday. I counted days. And then I started to count the hours, and then I started to count the minutes, and then the seconds. I organized this day for this chapter only. I didn't make any plans, I didn't do anything. I organized everything to be able to watch this chapter right after it comes out so that I can go and freak out on Tumblr with other people on time. I prepared everything and then some of our neighbors decided to show up without saying anything 10 minutes after this chapter came out and then they stayed two hours and you know they they don't know um they don't know that i have a youtube channel so i have to wait until they leave and here i am now Two and a half hour later, I'm late again, but I'm gonna watch this chapter and uh, I'm not gonna edit my video or, or anything because I'm gonna freak out on Tumblr with other people on time. So yeah, um, my hammer time crack video reaction might come out late because I wanna freak out and I am so damn nervous, like I can't believes us I'm gonna watch this chapter right now I don't think I'll ever like will be ready to watch this chapter because Yang and Blake versus Adam fight is one of the biggest things that I've been waiting for ever since I joined this fandom and like I said in my other um, reaction uh, in the review part of that video this is going to be the Beast and Gaston fight and then Beauty is gonna show up and then save the Beast and then Gaston is gonna die in this fight which is Adam I mean I'm th thinking that he's gonna die like Gaston but then some people on Tumblr made me remember that in that fight Gaston hurt I mean he wounded, I mean, he stabbed the beast and, uh, and now I'm like, I'm, I'm freaking out because this means that something might happen to either Yang or Blake because of Adam, again, even though that son of a bitch stabbed Blake and caught Yang's freaking arm, so I am so damn nervous. I've seen the preview too, by the way. The preview was about the mecha fight. So... We're also gonna see the mecha fight. And I just hope that it's not the whole focus of this chapter. Like, it's, it's 15 minutes. And uh, I can't handle another cliffhanger like this. Because this week was hell for me. This week was hell. Like I said, I counted days. It was a torture, and I can't handle that shit again. I also know that they showed another preview. It was about Adam versus Blake fight, but I didn't watch it. I haven't seen that preview because I wanted to watch it on my reaction. Like I, I, I wanted to watch it with, with you guys, and I'm, I'm so not ready. Like I'm after waited for that long I'm finally here I can watch the chapter the neighbors are gone Ugh, those neighbors they were so rude like just at least text or call or something before you show up right anyway um I can finally watch this but I'm so nervous oh another thing that I want to mention I've seen a post on tumblr and that post let me put it on here so you guys can see as well um I think there is some scars on 
Adam's face, like behind his blindfold there are some scars apparently, some people noticed that. So I guess that's the mystery behind his eyes, but like that's like the least of my concern. I don't give a shit about his ugly face, like I'm just so nervous because I feel like something might happen to Yang or Blake or both and we know that Yang has PTSD so she's gonna be she's gonna scare and she's gonna be shook and I, 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 I'm curious as to what she's gonna do I'm also excited because as you guys know by now like I ship Bumblebee so I'm expecting a huge moment like a confirmation or some sort sort of thing like I, I'm just <laughs> I'm, I'm a nurse right I'm not ready to watch this chapter. I've been talking for six minutes. I don't usually talk this much. But anyway, guys, uh, let's 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 just do this. Oh, and the title, the lady in the shoe. I think it's something about Cordovan. Like I, I don't give a shit. Like to be perfectly honest, I don't even care that much about the mecha fight. Like I'm just, I'm just so nervous and excited about the Adam fight. Like that's all I can think of. Like I need to drink some water. Anyway, my, my water is ready, my coffee is with me, so that I can sip from time to time, and I'm ready, I can do this. I swear, there were, there were some times like, I, I was like, perhaps I should make a reaction for this chapter, I just, I can just watch it with my pajamas on, 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 my, on my bed, because I'm so nervous and I, I don't know what I'm gonna, like, this reaction might be different from my other reactions because I am overly excited like like I said this is one of the biggest things that I've been waiting ever since I joined this fandom ever since I discovered Ruby so yeah there's that and uh, I think that's I, I'm just trying to figure something out like I, I'm looking for things to speak because I'm nervous. I'm scared to watch this chapter in front of the camera. I, I'm not strong enough. I'm fine. Okay. Ruby. <sighs> Volume 6. Chapter 11. Lady in the Shoe. Please let it conclude in this chapter. I can't handle another cliffhanger. Please. Starts in three, two, um, one. I'm so not ready. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, something happened to the voice, so I had to pause it. Like I was just five or ten minutes in. Okay, three, two, one, and now. Okay, I think. Okay, now we're good. Very good. You're joking, right? Okay, this was the scene from the preview, so I already seen it. Just a tiny old lady. Tiny old lady, exactly. Yeah. It's ridiculous that this lady is like riding this thing. Honestly, I can't take Cordovan seriously for some reason because like she's just just look at her. I can't take her seriously while on the other side there's Adam, like freaking Adam. scene right here was so freaking cool. I love seeing Ruby like this. Look at, so have you seen Ruby's weird. expression? She looked so done. Like, I love seeing like, that kind of serious expressions from Ruby in this volume. It's really good. And this was perfect. Some people on Tumblr were calling that Weiss is like the avatar. She can control all of the elements and there were some memes going on. And the preview ended right here, so I'm blind from now on. I'm nervous. I talk a lot when I'm nervous, so I'm sorry if I'm talking a lot. I just close. can't help it. We need to figure out how to stop Cordovan and protect the airship until we do. Then let's give her more targets to focus on. You mean us, don't you? <laughs> it's not designed no, for small animals. Her. It's probably meant for giant grim that come in from deeper waters. We can turn hmm. our size into an advantage. We just have to be smart. Okay. Maria, I'm so nervous. Out of harm's way? They can take my driver's license, but I won't let them take this ship. 
I love her. I'll be more useful if I go with her. From up high, I can try to She's spot a She's chaotic. He's not okay. the only one who can grab a bird's eye view. Nice. You needed me on the ground? Not exactly. What? What do you mean? What? Okay, I'm nervous. Are we gonna switch to uh, Adam fight? I guess not. Okay. I can handle this. Awesome. They're attacking from three sides at the same time. Oh, whoa, okay. Holy shit, I love that shot of Ruby. I love it. Another song, really? This reminds me of Cafe for some reason, for a second. Team Coffee song. Okay. That's awesome. But I can barely focus because I'm still thinking about the Adam fight. <laughs> I'm just being honest. Oh, mirror, mirror? Of course I don't- I can't understand the lyrics, but I'm gonna check them out. Oh wow. Woman, she's seeing her kind, her nation above everyone else's. I hate people like that. Cordo just activated shields. I saw that. We need to find whatever's generating it. You know, in video games, the weak spots usually on the back of the giant boss. Ruby, this isn't a game. I'm just trying to look out. She's not wrong. Shorter than expected. God, I love the music. Nice. I'm so nervous, guys. I'm still thinking about the Adam scene. Oh, that was cute. Oh shit! Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Nice. Miza's face. It's like, oh, please. Okay, now I'm nervous because I'm just like 
to? We gotta do something. Exactly. What are you gonna do? Where are those switches? Show her a middle finger or something with that thing. <laughs> I don't know why I thought of something like that, but anyway. Okay. Calvera. Yeah. Oh god. Oh shit. Is she gonna? Okay, they're gonna be fine. No, we're gonna switch to Adam. Okay! She, she's using both of her- is, did she, he, I think she heard Yang or something. I need to calm down. Can you do anything besides run? Oh fuck off! Really? It's funny hearing that from you, really. Wait, be careful. Yang, where are you? Where are- Oh, we're finally seeing- Okay, that was on- Okay? Okay? You're so beautiful, Blake. We're finally seeing her crop top- Okay, waterfall, we got a water- I can't process this at all. Sorts of people in all sorts of ways, but no I don't give a shit. quite like you. You didn't leave scars. Okay. You just left me alone. What is that? Oh, please so, stop this! Tell me, Blake, I don't give a shit. How does it feel to be alone? Oh my god, she's not alone. Uh, oh my god, guys, I can't do this. I thought that was she. That literally happened. You aren't then ready. It's okay. Catch your breath for a second. I could hold him off. She's right, Blake. It's okay. okay. We have unfinished business. Fuck off. Shit. Okay, she's doing her. Okay, she didn't freeze or anything. She's attacking with all she's got. Is playing. What the fuck is that? The semblance is like yours. He absorbs energy through his sword, stores it up, and then sends it back. Yeah, they're, they're, they're he gets to dish out power. damage without having to feel it. That's just cheap. Oh wow, that was great. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. She's like, no, she's not like me. Her his semblance is cheap compared to mine. Don't 
be jealous, you asshole. What just happened? She's really calm. Leave us alone. Leave us alone. Leave this us. Us is important. Chance. Oh God! Please, no! Don't you dare! You really believe that? Don't you dare! Just trying to scare me away. So don't you fucking have to dare! Die trying to protect her. She's not protecting me, Adam. And I'm not protecting her. Oh my god! <laughs> We're protecting each other. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Clippers! That was beautiful! That was beautiful! The idol came to some reaction or not. Let me, let me, let me. Tricks at him. This, this was perfect. Couple goals, guys. Couple goals. Oh my god. <laughs>
I love Ruby. I love Bumblebee. I I love everything about this show. This this was everything that I needed. Like um, this is um, literally like the confirmation of the bees. <laughs> oh my god! Thank you. This is beautiful. Oh, this is this is so beautiful. This is so goddamn beautiful. <laughs> If I want to make a review for this chapter, guys, I feel like I want to. I I I just want to go go on Tumblr and scream. <laughs> I just want to. I want to scream. I I feel like I'm 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 going insane. I'm going insane. I'm sorry. <laughs> so happy I am so goddamn happy <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'm sorry but I don't give a damn about Adam's past and how he suffered and all like he he became worse like humans might humans might have hurt him in the past but he became a monster like he it wasn't necessary like he didn't have to and how the heck he was seen with that blindfold? Like, how 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 was he seeing with that thing? Anyway, but like, I also like the fact that like there's nothing special about his eyes. He has blue heart, blue eyes, and that's it. And like, I could care less about him. He's a fucking abuser. I hate his guts. And uh, next chapter. Next chapter, we're gonna wait another week. I was in my show. How am I gonna wait for another week? Kirby, please, I love you all with my heart. But why are you doing this? Anyway, this was like, this was like everything I ever wanted. So that's it that's my review that's um this was everything that i ever wanted that's it that's the review guys we can we can go <laughs> okay i'm i'm, I'm uh, um seriously i'm not gonna make a review for this chapter there is uh there is nothing to say like i <laughs> that fight was great between um team juniper and the others that white fight was great i don't know if i i i, I don't know what, what to say about the fights but i can talk about i can talk about hold on let me hold on let me open the chapter on rooster teeth's website so that we can um watch it with the captions on and guys i am <laughs> losing my shit <laughs> I'm losing my shit. <laughs> oh, that 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 happens. Couple goals, seriously. Oh my god, Bumblebee. Damn. Okay, okay. Hold on, give me a guys. Can can you guys believe that 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 they actually did that? It's it it literally happened. I I seriously can't believe it. <laughs> like holy shit. Okay, I'm starting from here. <clears throat> okay, let's make a review of the scene. I love how Blake has started to use both of her weapons. We haven't seen that ever since uh, Volume 3, if I remembered correctly. And... Hmm. I don't, um, I don't know why she's looking, I think she's looking for someone to, es uh, not escape, but like, looking for another place to go, and perhaps she's trying to get closer to Yang so that they can fight with them together, like she said, they're protecting each other, they're equals, and she knows that, um, she needs Yang to beat him so she's probably that that's why probably she's looking like this and I love how she's standing against her abuser she is just so freaking brave she's saying like oh you're covered and that's bullshit 
Like you, like this guy has been stalking him and like he waited until she was alone to confront her and and then and then he comes and say, ah, oh, you're a coward. It's like that's bullshit. You're the coward one. Blake is look, I I can say this easily, like Blake is the bravest character in Ruby, in my opinion. Blake is the bravest one. Um and actually there were some posts on Tumblr about this. You know how in volume 5 Blake um, gave some words to her friends? You know, Yang is the personification of strength and blah blah. And Weiss is defiance and Ruby is... I don't remember. Purity? I, I, I don't think so. Anyway, and I think Blake is bravery. That is just so obvious. So yeah, this this dude, like Blake said, he's he's delusional. He he's delusional. He's sick. Oh, shit! I lost my shit in here, and and then. That poor jacket, but I'm honestly really happy happy to see her like this. I've been wanting that ever since we got this new outfit because her crop top, it's just so beautiful. It's just so beautiful. And I'm especially curious about a mutual of mine on Tumblr. I'm not gonna um, use her username, but... Um, there, there's this, there's this more mutual of mine on Tumblr. Her name is Annie, and she's been dying to see Blake like this ever since, <laughs> ever since I joined the fandom. She's been telling that on her tags, and I'm sure she's just so happy. So I can't, I can't wait to check her blog and and like see her scream about this because that's literally everything she wanted. I'm sorry, I'm just rambling. I'm just so excited. <sighs> he just kept absorbing the- She looks so determined, by the way, guys. And I, I love this particular scene, like, we got a waterfall, this is like the perfect place for this battle. I was like, oh, so the battle is gonna be in the middle of the forest, but no. Um, they're gonna battle, they're gonna have fights in front of this, um... Wonderful. It's beautiful. Oh, whoa, what just happened there? I didn't get that move. Something happened there. I'm sorry, I'm just pouting because this is like literally my second time watching it and I want to check everything. Oh god. Okay, her clone. What is that? Okay. Okay. Oh, she got his sword. She got his sword. Awesome. And now he only has his uh, gun thing. Yeah, that's why he's only shooting because his sword is in Blake's thing. I don't remember that thing, you know, that thing you put your sword in. I remember that name in English. I never used this in English before, so... How did he get his sword again? Okay, his sword is still there. Oh my god, look at these moves. <laughs> oh my god, I love this fight. Okay, the sword is still there. Clone. I don't have to be doing this. I hated this. If you just behaved like, <laughs> like he's a fucking abuser, and there is some, there's still some people out there that that's defend Adam. 
they're saying like, no, he's not an abuser, he's a great, he's an amazing character. Okay, he's a great villain, okay? He added a depth to Yang and Blake's story. He's a great villain, if you look at that aspect. But his personality, his characters in general, he's a fucking abuser. Like, come on, just look at the sentence, if he just behaves. If he just behaves. This is making me mad. This is making me mad. Fucking asshole. Okay, he got it. Oh, poor Blake. Oh, I hated this. But you're selfish. Like, you want to talk. You like to most selfish you could be the most selfish person on the world of remnants dude you're a coward you're the coward one dude exactly at least Blake can see us like it's like you're delusional I hated this. I, I, I lost my shit. And his wep her weapon is gone and I lost my shit in here. When, when he did that thing. And like, I don't have any pity, like... Please. Don't be sad for him, Blake. No. No, he doesn't deserve it. He doesn't deserve it. Please don't be sad. He doesn't deserve empathy. He doesn't deserve shit. Please. Please. This is bullshit. He's doing the same thing that he does in Adam Character Short. Like... <laughs> on, 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 that on that character short, he was like, oh... So you're gonna you're gonna leave me to you're gonna leave me and you're gonna leave the cause just like just like your parents and what what was he saying all kinds of crap ah uh, what was he saying like sometimes I feel like you don't believe in me anymore like bullshit dude he's doing the same he's playing the same card he's playing the same card. And what is that? G O C Is that is that it? no six O two Oh like oh, so they marked him like he's some kind of an animal probably on his face and yeah he lost one of his eyes and he doesn't deserve kindness Blake. You and like he's he leaves scars that's why he, like, pulled away his blindfolds. You just left me alone. Fuck off. Fuck off. It's not working. I hate this dude. And this part was great. Blake noticed. She's not alone. You're the lone one. So he stalked her up until this point because he wanted her to be alone so that he she can feel like that and <laughs> dude you're a fucking moron. Adam's a fucking moron. This scene this scene killed me right here. Like I, I lost my shit. This was perfect. This was perfect! I'm gonna watch this chapter over and over again. This was perfect. There, there are some memes about this. <laughs> like, Yang is gonna crash Adam with Bumblebee and like... It's canon. <laughs> it's canon. And we know how much Yang loves a bumblebee, but at this moment she could care less about her motorcycle. This was great. And rip bumblebee. <laughs> and hi bumblebee!
you. He he hates her for obvious reasons. And I'm honestly surprised that she looks really confident here. I thought perhaps at first she might get scared because of her um, PTSD and, you know, Adam's basically her nightmare just like Blake. So I'm, I'm honestly kind of surprised that she looks this confident like, I love you. I love you, Yank. You're amazing, my dear. Okay, let's go. No, I love them. Fuck off. I hate this dude. And and then. Okay, that attack was really cool. That thing that Adam did. It looked cool. Damn. And in the scene, um, um instru instrumental version of Arm Down Ready is playing. And that song is literally a foreshadow of, of this part. Like, Next time will be your disaster and all that jazz. Like, just just go and listen to Arm Down Ready, guys. Um, before before I watch this chapter, um, this Wednesday, yeah, it was Wednesday. I was on Tumblr and I was scrolling through my dash and I was kept I kept listening to Arm Down Ready. It was on loop. On Spotify, I was singing along and I was like, yes, Yang Yang's gonna do this and Yang's gonna do that and she's gonna punch him and she's gonna kick his ass and here we are. This is perfect. Oh, hold on. I, I think I, I got a main... Okay, look at this face. <laughs> oh, look at him. Is it, is it hurting? You deserve it, you motherfucker. Hold on. Oh, I, I couldn't catch it. Oh, I love this. I'm loving this. But I couldn't catch that face. I just want to see him in pain. You know, this is perfect. This is perfect. <laughs> That's perfect. Oh, God. Okay, this was also interesting. Okay, his semblance is like yours. He absorbs energy through his sword. So, uh, like, Adam and Yang are foils, and they have a lot of similarities, and their semblances is one of them. I mean, that was one of the first clues that you should get, um, that they're gonna fight at some point, and... It's also interesting that Blake chose Yang as her partner, like, she was observing Yang and she saw her semblance and she chose to be team with Yang. So she chose a similar partner in some way, like, someone with a similar semblance. And the next line is more important. He gets the dish out damage without having to feel it. That's the that's just cheap. You know, summonses are a part of your soul. They show what kind of a personality you have in, in a way. And that's like that's like the biggest difference between Yang and Adam. Adam is just the cheapest, just the cheap version of Yang in a way. I mean, he is definitely not like Yang, that's not what I'm trying to say, but like... She feels the pain and then use it. Like, and then use, use her semblance. She feels it, she gets the damage and then she gets stronger, but on the other hand... 
Adam just stays there and tries to like get damage on his sword and waits until he gets more gets more power and his summons is literally like his summons says us says us that he's like the cop he's just a coward. Okay. He's a coward. And you can easily get that even from his semblance. On the other hand, Yang is there, Yang's out there, taking the damage, like taking the damage on her body and then uses it. Like just think about it. Think about their differences. They're they're not like each other. They their some semblances might be similar, but Yang is just so brave and strong. On the other, on the other hand, Adam is just a coward. He's a cheap character. He's cheap. That's it. Okay, I got worried there, like... Okay, this part was important. They exchanged looks with each other and that made Adam really angry. Look, just look. They exchanged looks. See? And now Adam was looking at Yang and then he looked at Blake and then he got mad because he's jealous because he's jealous of their of their relationship because he used to have that with Blake but now he sees that Blake replaced him with Yang like now they're a team and now they have romantic feelings for each other Blake and Yang have that but he doesn't God, I love this chapter, and I, I can't wait to wait to see him die on the next next one. Seriously, <laughs> he's jealous. Thank God, her prosthetic arm, and I love that look. Lee was alone that was also a great line leave us alone not leave me alone not leave Blake alone leave us alone because like that's that's like this dude affecting both of them this is like their story like Adam is not just a part of Blake's life He's also part of Yang's. I'm saying this because there are some people out there they're saying like Yang is not relevant to the story. Like that's bullshit. Like that dude literally chopped her arm off, so <laughs> you guys are delusional like Adam. Just come on. I hate this dude. And and then and then I I got the thing that I want ever since Heroes and Monsters. Blake <laughs> Oh my god, my heart starts to race just looking at this. Blake Hells Yang's arm when it but this, no, no, this hand. Wait, it was trembling. I've been wanting this ever since Heroes and Monsters, and I kept talking about this in some of my reactions from Volume 5, and it's actually happened. Like, everything I ever wanted has been happening one by one with each passing chapter. Guys, guys. I love Kirby. I love this show. 
couple goals. Look at them. Get wrecked at him. <laughs> this is great. And Yang is shook. <laughs> Yang is shook. Well, I, I can look at this for hours. Look at this. And in, in this scene, you can see her expression. Like, she's like, she's low key apologizing because she got it. She thought about her mistake. In the Brunswick farm, she was like, oh, I'm gonna protect you, Yank. And and then she got her mistake. She realized that, no, yeah, yeah, we're, we're equals. She got it. She got what... What made Yank bothered. Like, this is just so beautiful. I can't, I can't English right now. I can't English. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just, I just had a lot of feelings about the scene. It's, it's, that's all, like, seriously, oh my god. This is beautiful! <laughs> Perfect. See how mad he is. This is perfect. I love this. I can look at this for hours, for days, for weeks, for months. I'm gonna keep looking at this in the hiatus. <laughs> this is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Thank you, Kruby. Thank you. It's just so beautiful. They're standing against Adam as a couple, guys. Oh my goodness! <laughs> what am I gonna do next week? <laughs> what am I gonna do next week? Next week is gonna be the same as this one, guys. I'm gonna be a mess. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I feel like I'm a lunatic at this point. <laughs> but I can't keep smiling. I can't keep smiling. I can't fucking keep smiling. Oh god. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful chapter. Beautiful chapter and chapter ended with that freaking scene and I don't give a shit about the other thing. Okay, okay, guys, 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 oh, I'm living, I'm living, I'm living like this is just so fucking beautiful, guys. This is just so fucking beautiful. <laughs> I love this show. I'm so glad that I discovered this show. I'm just rambling at this point, but I don't give a shit. I'm just so happy that this happened for real in canon. I'm just so happy. Let me stop my screen record. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Oh my god, guys. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna stop this video right here and I'm gonna go somewhere to scream there for a week, probably. <laughs> I'm gonna scream for a week. Oh my god. <laughs> guys, I'm genuinely happy. I don't remember the last time that I became this happy. I've been in depression for a while and I'm, I've been having some really bad days and um, I've been trying to fight with it with therapy and I've also started to uh, use an antidepressant and it has a lot of side effects and <clears throat> it's making my life harder these days because I just started like two weeks ago or something I don't remember, but I, I've been having bad days because of this medicine that I've been taking. Um, that's why I was late at reacting the, the other week because uh, I was so dizzy because of the med. And I was like, I can't make a reaction and I'm like this. So that's why I was late. And even that Sunday while I was reacting, my brain was boiling because of the med. And... Uh, today I'm better, yesterday I was also fine, but this chapter made me happy, like actually happy. Um, you know, it's, it's hard for someone who's in depression to 
feel this happy, but this chapter actually gave me that. I'm genuinely happy. I haven't been laughing like this for God knows how long. Uh, this chapter made me feel like myself again, because I haven't been feeling like myself for a while now. Piece of depression, and uh, this chapter made me feel like myself, made me remember myself who I am as a person, like how usually how positive I am, and I don't remember the last time I smiled or laughed this long. Like I'm genuinely happy. Like I'm, I'm not forcing a smile. I'm just happy. I don't know if that makes sense. I I'm just so happy, guys. This chapter, this 15 minutes long chapter of a show of a web series, it it made a depressed person genuinely happy, and I feel like I'm not I'm not struggling with a mental illness right now thanks to the show. So yeah, thank you from the bottom of my heart to everyone who worked on this chapter and who works in this show in general. I'm happy thanks to you guys. You guys make me happy. Genuinely happy, like I'm happy. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna be happy this week. It's gonna be hard to wait. But this time I won't be that nervous like I was la last week because a lot of the things were uncertain but at this point I'm sure they're gonna kick Adam's ass. I'm still worried that something might happen to either Yang or Blake because of the Beauty and the Beast story but they're gonna kick his ass. They can do this together. They're their couple goals. They like this chapter. To me this chapter confirmed that Bumblebee is canon. And it's my OTP, and I'm just so fucking happy, guys. I'm just so fucking happy because there were some people out there who were calling me delusional on my videos just because I ship the bees and I talk about the bees. They were like, you're delusional. And some people were calling me a dyke and some other curse words. Oh, uh, but yeah. This chapter made me happy and made me see that I am definitely not delusional. This is happening. And I just I just love the show and love these characters and I've been rambling for too long. I'm glad I didn't make a full review, otherwise this video would be like <laughs> around two hours or something. Uh, I'm just so happy and I just wanted to share my excitement with you guys because I know some of you people watch my videos until the end no matter how much I talk and I just I just want to share my excitement with you guys because I know that there are some people out there who are ex as excited as I am about this particular chapter and about the bees and I'm right here with you you're not alone um no matter where you are on this world I'm also here I also love the ship I also love the show and I also go crazy over it, as you can see, so we can we can get excited together. <laughs> um yeah, I'm just I'm just excited. I just I just I just love the bees. I just love them with my heart, with my soul. And you know what? I'm gonna post this review part on my Tumblr. That's that's gonna be Tumblr Tumblr exclusive. If you follow my Ruby blog on Tumblr, then you're gonna get to see this um, review earlier than the people on YouTube because I love you guys. Um, because I know you guys ship the beast, and I don't know if you guys watch my videos until the end, but if you're a mutual of mine on Tumblr or a follower of mine, just we can we can get excited about it together. And uh, I just love you guys, so I'm, I'm gonna post this on Tumblr earlier because yeah I want to get excited with you guys I'm just so happy guys I'm just so happy I'm so happy I don't even know what to say I'm just so, I'm still I'm still smiling like an idiot in front of the camera I I have nothing to say I'm just smiling and uh <laughs> this is Janine okay like I'm not forcing anything like I am I'll probably keep smiling after I stop that button right here.
But yeah, I think I should end this video because I'm not saying anything at this point, so... Just know that I'm happy and I'm probably gonna smile like this until I went to bed. I'm, I'll be on my bed smiling while trying to sleep. <laughs> oh god, I love the bees. Oh, I love the bees, guys. I, I love the show. I love the show with my heart and with my soul. I love it. I love it. Oh. And this is gonna be a hard week because, you know, I I'll, I'll keep conning days. And since I'm unemployed, like, I basically have nothing else to do, I'm just gonna keep counting the days. I need to find some. I, sh I should go back to the gym and do boxing and, like, punch people <laughs> to calm myself. <laughs> anyway, okay, um, this was my reaction and review to Ruby Volume 6, Chapter 11, The Lady in the Shoe. I'm gonna remember this chapter until the day I die. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.